everyone, my name is Sade, also known as at Just Day on Instagram, and OMG is Just Day on Twitter, and OMG is Just Day back home on my website. Uh, today we are drinking Sarah Holmes Merlot. Uh, we are drinking, oh, Josh Wines. Thank you for sending us our own personalized label. And it is a Cabernet. And a Depala, which is something that we haven't drank yet for 2017. <laughs> and a Moscato that we've had many of times, yes. actually. <laughs> yes. yes, that was my go-to for many years. And I saw it and I was like, I'm feeling nostalgic. So, yeah. That just goes to show, I don't know what we're <laughs> drinking before we're, like, before I show here. I just was like, I just Half the time I buy bottles and I forget what I bought. So when you're now when you're like reading them, I'm like, oh yeah, I did buy that. Because oh, <laughs> <laughs> it sits in there. Like sometimes we'll buy like tomorrow we'll go to the liquor store and we'll buy wine, and it'll sit in the wine cooler and I'll. Forget about it. And we don't drink all these bottles at one sitting and one taping. That's why you'll no. see them again yeah. sometimes in the next episode. Like. We're not going to drink all. Now, bottles. given the beginning of this, we were... <laughs> <laughs> I digress. We did drink all of them, but we've grown, okay? It is 2022. Now that we're drinking, like, Cabernets, we're not drinking four yeah, Cabernets. We have to slow down a little bit. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. What's going next? Jeffrey, sex and 
uh, Sex on with Tink on Instagram or Tinker Jeffries on Facebook. And you have a website that is amazing. Uh, yeah. uh, and the website, sexsymbolstore.com. You got videos and t-shirts and all these stuff. I know, because actually, I went, I sat there and that was one of my questions. Wait, oh, no. one, oh, wait. We'll get to your questions. Okay, we'll okay. We'll get there. Sorry, just skipped ahead. Ready? <laughs> so, introduce yourself. I feel like y'all always sit me next to her and I feel like... <laughs> Like I told y'all before, she's for sale. Okay, <laughs> you hitched your wagon. Three ninety nine. Help me, help you, help me. <laughs> anyway, as you know, we my now is Angelina TV. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Unsubscribe from her. Make sure you guys are following us on Anchor, Anchor, Spotify. Instagram, Facebook, <laughs> Apple, Apple Podcasts, yes. Breaker, all the places that you can follow us at. You know, leave us comments. We do read all your comments. And eventually we will have merch. So We do have to... merch already. Oh, crap, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we definitely. We do have merch we already. We do have merch. We're going to have a so. second. We're gonna like, like have a second drop of March coming up soon. Yeah, so make sure that you guys are subscribed and, and you, you know grab turn it. on those reminders so you know what we're right doing. Right now we have the 1.0, which is just everything with the logo on it, and the 2.0 drop will just be the fancy stuff with all the the Housewash like quotes, the quotes. <laughs> <laughs> and the all over prints, yeah. which happen to be popular, but they're also a headache. The, the all over prints are a headache because if you don't do it right, you can have all over prints in the wrong direction. <laughs> or in the wrong places. Now we talk about that. Yes. What's up, yeah. Lulu Ma? Sorry, that was really <laughs>
grow about what, what's going to fail. Now, but have you, you had, had any, like, um... Problems? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you need to have the dirt in order to, like, grow. Like, nothing, no nothing that's not in dirt doesn't, like, doesn't grow. Without dirt, yeah. nothing can grow. So... I know, I know y'all that. seen a best man before, right? Of yes. course. So, so we all got our dirt. So <laughs> you, you remember when dude was looking, reading a book in the bathroom? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I, I, I you had, had thoughts you had that. that. <laughs> Somebody sitting there like, this mother... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had thoughts of that. He's like, talking damn. about me. I'm like, damn, they, they, that's how they're going to be. That's the reaction. <laughs> Right, I was a terrible person in junior high. Like some of the things I did, I was like, "Why didn't anyone punch me in the face?" I think all of us were terrible people. Like, <laughs> I remember going out with a, a. I remember going out with this guy, and I was upset that he wouldn't leave his girlfriend because he wouldn't leave his girlfriend. And he decided to go out with me. I approached his girlfriend's sister and said, "Hey, I went out." with your sister's boyfriend. I just want you to tell her that. We had a great time. <laughs> Cut <laughs> throat. <laughs> this was in the lunchroom. I feel like I would have been sitting next to you like, bitch. She was, she was like, why did you do that? I was like, I was, but I was angry at the time. I was like, he said he was not leaving his girlfriend. How dare him go out with me? <laughs> like, how dare you? Like, there's this whole diary that like chronicles that stage of my life and I was like oh goodness gracious that was around where I was wearing the bell bottom jeans with the safety pins and the tape pins all the way up the seams they were the jeans they would set up the uh, the alarm every time I wore them well wait did you ever date a girl like that like did you ever sit there and do that sit there and do what did you ever sit there and have a girlfriend, but you dated her friend, and you took her out on the date and everything? Uh, yeah, I did a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, like, I hey, that's twins. amazing. <laughs> I dated twins, um, a mom and daughter. <laughs> oh, my God, a mom and daughter? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. You know, roll of thought, see, I was a horrible, horrible person back in the day, so... <laughs> related to your book because I was like, I mean, if they cool with it. <laughs> like, <laughs> that was my role. I mean, yeah, I cool with I was it. Naive Sometimes even if then. you ate. I was naive back then. I was like, oh, like Ooh. I always like to think the best in everybody. That has always been my issue. And that is probably my biggest downfall. I think I grew into that person that I always tried to say, well, no. <laughs> that would never. No, but FYI, the refrigerator. Turn the refrigerator off? I didn't know. Our fridge is on the fridge, y'all. So if y'all feel inclined Why to, you know. Why don't you get up and take, turn the fridge off? Because no, you can't turn the fridge off. There's food in it. I mean, it ain't. It's still going to be cold. Fine. Mm-hmm. It'll I'm be just, fine for a couple hours. The fan <laughs> in the freezer is making take this a really. Take dryer to it. No, it's just making this really loud buzzing. That's like, probably the coils. No, I tried that. It's the little fan in the freezer. <laughs> because I feel like y'all understand my pain. And if y'all just feel like being, you know, really good people. The first three months of me being in my new house, I had refrigerator issues to the point where we had to swap out brand new fridge. Yeah, that that refrigerator, first of all, that refrigerator. Just call your landlord. I can't, it's not like his fridge. We threw his refrigerator out. Oh, <laughs> We did, we did, we did. Okay, so if y'all didn't okay. hear that. Hold on, wait. This is her mom's refrigerator, and it has yeah. an ice maker and everything. Yeah, we acting like that's really, like, a big deal. But, I mean, you come from a refrigerator that don't got that. But we threw out the original refrigerator from the landlord, so. The white refrigerator. Yeah, that old-ass <laughs> shit. Yeah, we threw that away and got another one. But now it's starting to act weird, so now we can't even call for help. <laughs> <laughs> so our off subject, my bad. I know someone that can help you. Please. I have a neighbor that can Because I don't want to I'll give you my neighbor's affairs. number. Thank you. What was the hardest part of writing this book, besides putting yourself out there, which is the hardest part of putting out any book, is putting yourself out there. Every time I put out a book, whether it's fiction or nonfiction, I'm like, oh my goodness, I don't want to re- press release because... It's like putting a piece of yourself out there, whether it's nonfiction or fiction. You, you 
kind of put yourself into. I'm not gonna lie, a couple of times I was like, man, I don't know if I want to put this out. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Especially when I got done, I was like, damn, should I really do this? And some of the people that know me knows Who th- these are. characters, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So I was like, I don't know if I should do this. And the way you describe the people to a T, you yeah. like, somebody's It's know like somebody you start and, there right. and you change. I was, I was looking at this stuff, I was like, some of, yeah, some somebody going to know who this is. <laughs> <laughs> you change the names and you sat there and semi changed the areas and so forth and everything and like but still told the story but you changed everything the, else. The funny thing that the names round with the name. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. You did it. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> I can't give anything I'm else. Not, I am I am just I was I I will say this, reading it I was very impressed with your attention to detail and your descriptiveness of these people because it gave you as you're reading it it really did give you a visual of who these people looked like like you were it saying did, something and i did enjoy the story about you know the 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 shooting incident that that tickled that i was i chuckled right. so I, what, what the, the the shooting the well, girl to pull the gun on Oh, I did chuckle a little bit. Yeah, yeah I, 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 ch- I, I felt bad, but I did chuckle a little bit because the way you wrote it, I was like, "You really ain't gonna just, you just gonna end it like that, huh?" And that's just how you just gonna stop. Oh, that, that, that was to get y'all attention. It, 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 it definitely, it definitely did that. <laughs> the whole book was a roller coaster ride. <laughs> I was like, I was, I was like, at some point, I was like, some of this is fiction and has to be fiction, but it's too good to be made up. You did a really, yeah. really good job at making up parts <laughs> and so forth because it all sounded like everything was truly happening. Like, I felt like I was watching a movie, like I was reading your book, but I was watching a movie Word. with all the shit happening. I'm like, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. And a lot of people can't write a book, but they can't tell a story, yeah. and you can do both. Uh-huh. Thank you. <laughs> Good job. So how did you come, how did you uh, begin to do that? How did you know you could write a book? How, how did I start writing? Yeah. That's a question. Um, I used to make music, so it, this is and a book too. And that is one of my questions, but I'll get to that uh, whenever it's my turn. Well, I used to write music, and um, I was writing a song that sounded like a story. And I put it on Facebook, and everybody loved it. And it was like, write, write another one. I another one, and I another one. I used to reuse your stories on Blogspot. Blogspot? Oh, uh, Blogspot. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's when Twitter got a hand when when uh, Twitter got a hold of my stories. When Twitter was like booming, like 2013. Yeah. I was right, like it was right before Twitter, like because at that point I was like, remember when you had the texture tweets? Mm-hmm. I was on Twitter when you had text tweets before we had like all this fancy software, but I was reading your stories on Blogspot, like what in the actual world? Yeah. And I was like, okay, this guy has something. And this was before we actually met, it turns out. I was like, yeah. okay. Because I used to write fan fiction, that's how I got into writing novels. My first novel was actually based on a fan fiction story that I wrote. <laughs> my, my stories got popping because of a porn star. Uh, what's her name? Um, Jada Fire. Y'all you know who Jada Fire is? Mm-hmm. So I, I, uh, I wrote the story and I sent it to her. And she retweeted and all these people was like, like retweeting me like crazy. Mm-hmm. I mean, they, they was reading my shit. Mm-hmm. It was all going to my blog spot. And my blog spot was booming ever since then. Yo. So what, I, because of what you just said about someone that is, I guess you would say established, retweeting something that they read of yours what is your do you feel that that is that has had a a, a big impact on your success well, what do you think caused your big impact for your success the um, stories, stories that, for, that, that first I, book so should have done doing, enough what i was doing i was uh when i when i start first start writing i was uh when Instagram started popping, like like when you know uh, everybody was able to use it, mm-hmm. uh, it was this this 
this Instagram called Shoe Insta Shoes, and they had like millions of followers. I used to pay this person like twenty dollars to post my stories, mm-hmm. and it was not but females, it was like girl shoes. Mm-hmm. And that person used to uh, post it, and all these people would just read my stories. So, and that's and that's what happened. So I I was paying promotion so people could read my shit. And so, what I was saying about yours as opposed to just like pure erotica which i've actually edited for some people also <laughs> and just was like like when i first started i was like i'm not gonna take credit for any of this i just want you to pay me to edit this the difference is you actually have a story or <laughs> some people just write it just to write it and it's like there's no story in this there's, there's no end game to this it's just mm-hmm. here and just get the best that I could do. But you got something that is awesome. Yeah. Stories come from real life, you know. <laughs> I know, stories come from real life, rather they fiction or not, they yeah. they come from somewhere. Yeah. Being a sexual person. You you make up stuff because sex could be born after a while. Like I, I play hide and go get it still. Like, <laughs> hide and go strip. You know what I mean? I mean, but that's the only like, way to, the, the the way to keep to it keep fresh. It spicy, yeah. Yeah. Like uh, like I'll have a drop a girl, girl off on the corner, and then I'll make a U-turn and start talking to them like in the car or something. <laughs> keep it spicy. Keep it spicy. That's that's the way it's supposed to be. And I'm glad that you like. You like when you do release your books, you don't like you don't have to boggle down the title with like keywords to get to draw people's attention because the actual book is what draws people's attention. Mm-hmm. Because actually, I was reading about it today, and people have been getting like their stories have been getting taken off of KDP because they were boggling down with keywords like mm-hmm. BBW or just like. Like SEO keywords describing their story, but they would put them in the title, like my pastor is in love with this person, or this, that, mm-hmm. and the third, or I'm in love with mom, like mom, boyfriend, or something like that. And they've been taking it off of Amazon because that's how they've been getting around the system instead of describing the What's book. What's actually in your the book? book? In the description, it's in the title. And Amazon's actually starting to get around to like, oh, that. Yeah. YouTube's this. doing the same thing um, because everyone is trying to get around the algorithm. They're like, oh, I know the algorithm. I can just plug these things in, and even if it's not what you're actually talking about. But I think as an artist, you want people not to look at your art because of some keyword. You want them to actually read what you've put out there. You want them to know you by what you've written or what you've put out mm-hmm. you know, inside, not just you know, the external. That's yeah. like I had a guy that was like, oh, I want you to teach me how to be an Amazon bestseller. I was like, good luck on figuring out the algorithm. When you figure it out, you let me know. <laughs> like, just release your book. Like, I don't want to, I don't know, it just happened. It, was, it just came out of nowhere. It was, it was like a, a gift that is like, now you said that you had done, you, you were writing songs for music and that's kind of, yeah. Now, did that? Yeah, I know you said that that kind of stemmed. You're like, huh? People like this. Yeah. So, do you think that kind of helped you along the way? Yeah, that that helped a little bit. Yeah. Just, just making music, and then I don't know. I just converted to writing. You know, I didn't know how to write a, a, a book or not. I didn't know how to write a story. Everything sounded like ABCs <laughs> at, at, at a time. <laughs> But as as time went on, just just learn. Mm-hmm. And I started read. I, I started reading other people's books, and I was like, "Oh, this is how they write." What was the book that made you real so you can do this? What was the book? Yeah. Um. So I like uh, Carl Weber. Mm-hmm. So um, his book um, what's it called? It's on TV too now. Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> so she said, uh, I was like, It's I on can't TV, remember. Carl Weber, um, The Man in 3B. Yeah. Um, there's another one. There's a few other TV shows that Carl Weber that 
make books out of. Oh, it's a song family business, fam, family business, family business. Yeah, that sounds yeah. familiar. Yep. Yeah, family business. I read, I read all those books, and when I was reading them, I'm like the 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 way he was like writing it, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, this is how they do it. Cause I, I know I know when you first edited my my my, my second book, you were probably like going through it just a little bit. No. He wasn't. No. Just, my second. My second. You were like my third client. I don't know if you know. You were like my third client. My first client was like I just want everything to be in slang. My second client was like just try and leave everything as much intact as you can. And, I was like, I'm gonna change some things, but it's not gonna be enough for you to know this if you don't mind. The first person was like, I mind. The second person was like, I don't mind. <laughs> then yeah, turn around and change everything back. <laughs> That's where doing what you do is it's gotta be frustrating, hard, and in the end really rewarding because I ain't got time for it. <laughs> I just don't have the patience for that. Like if I take my time out to go through something with a fine, you know, and and I gotta change something because it just don't make no sense. I, I just can't read <laughs> like, nobody else's whole book. That, that's, that's I started that. a guy's book before this book, oh. and I was, like we just got his book published in January. Because <laughs> <laughs> we oh, went back and forth about words and paragraphs this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. See, and that's where I was going to I mean, like, after, like, the third time he would say something, I'm like, you know what? How about you go find someone else to do this? And he just, I ain't got time for I just, I have no patience. And this patience person just, nope. described his dream cover to me. He said, I love it. And he showed it to his wife. And then he came back to me, and he was like, I love everything you, that you did, but I'd like to change the text to this color, the background to this color, add this color graphic to this, and do this to it. So I was like, you want a whole so new yeah, color? Want his <laughs> like everything <laughs> that I did. That's I why he you. told you, I love everything you did, but she said. To the point where I had to outsource so because one of the things <laughs> that he wanted, like I will admit when something is out of my realm, but that is awesome that I know and date a graphic designer because I was like, look, I can't do this, but you can do this because you went to school for this. So can you help me here? Because I had it right, but he was like, I want something different. <laughs> <laughs> I love everything you've done, but um, so can you change everything? Because you've done? of the fact that you went to school for mechanics, you were able to fix that. Uh, you were driving and you seen that broke that uh, car. <laughs> Just told me off. Car <laughs> and that car. Okay, since you studied mechanics in college, right? Mm. And you Look remember inside notes. your book, thoroughly. <laughs> <laughs> inside your book, you so. sat there and you were driving, and then you saw that car that was us uh, 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 broke down. Yeah, bridge. those girls. Flat tire. That yeah, was that flat tire, and the guys were there, <laughs> <laughs> and the guys didn't know how to change the car tire. Uh, I don't. I don't care if you went to mechanic school. <laughs> Any man or woman should know how to change a goddamn one tire. See, uh, we right. don't be like this. <laughs> I have all, I'm not going to lie, I have I all have. the tools in my car. Like, my car came with a jack, extra yeah, tire. Right. It came up with all of it. It's important. Like, it's you're, important. You're, you don't deserve no pussy if you don't know how to change <laughs> I hope y'all are listening to that. <laughs> the problem is, I probably have the skills to change a tire. I just don't have the strength to change to the tire. tire. <laughs> Kick the tire, come off. You kick the tire. That's gonna work hurt, right? I told you. I, she said she's gonna teach me how to change the tire. <laughs> <laughs> because most of your strength is in your legs, right? All my strength is in my so legs. So then I'm not you're, gonna you're in there like swimwear because that's exactly what you need. To turn like, that. You, I have a lot more questions. Okay, number oh. two. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. Give me, give me I feel like this is family feud. Number two. <laughs> I'll take it. 
take all the questions. Okay, okay. After, wait, have you ever found the one after your many fail, failed attempts? Fuck no. I'm still in the game. Y'all heard it. I appreciate your honesty. Right. It's, it's, um. The internet also met, like, I feel like before the internet, it might have been easy to date. But because of the internet, everyone's always looking to build their perfect mate. Because build it, a nigga. Yeah. <laughs> it's a website. Build a nigga. <laughs> but I feel like, kind of like, a good example is, is it's weird. I saw it on a Chipotle bag, and it oh, turns no. out the quote was from Aziz Ansari. And he was like how he was looking for a toothbrush, and he couldn't find a toothbrush for the longest because he had too many options. But back in the <laughs> on the internet, there was just one toothbrush or a couple of toothbrushes. You need to go to the brush aisle and you mm-hmm. find a toothbrush. But now, there's so many toothbrushes out there that you're like, mm, I get any toothbrush. I can have an electric, I can have, you know, a firm, a medium, a soft. Before, a like, <laughs> People would just marry people that live two blocks away. No, you can or, marry somebody. Or your yeah, parents would marry you off to somebody. I'm just saying, look, he has two cows and land. He's a good match. You go with him. Like, like that just happened. Oh, well. I'm still in the game. I don't be knowing people's attentions nowadays. Man. So, intentions are good. So, and like, plus, like, all this uh, pandemic, you don't know what you're going to get. I don't care. No, did you see the person in Japan? <laughs> They went into lockdown while she was on a blind date, and she's been stuck at her blind date's house for like a couple of weeks now. That's dope. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Getting to know you. Getting to know all of you. Yeah, going to hell. That would be a good ass story, though, man. Huh? That would be a good ass story. That would be some intense movie. Like, stop. Real talk. Stuck forever. That would be a story, like, literally. Yes. Even if I go through something that was terrible, like my first relationship was shitty as hell. But good or bad, it's a good writing experience. Yes, like, yeah. if, if I went through it, like I gotta write, write about it. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, okay, <laughs> number four. Which one of the quotes is your favorite? Oh, uh, this one was my favorite one. I can well, see why. why. Because it's, it's me, you know, talking about my life and. The therapeutic, just just writing this book was like all therapeutic for me. It was like, damn, man, I did this shit. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, uh, I talk about my my bitch ass ways back in the day. Mm-hmm. And I mean, like arguing with women. I would never do that shit now. <laughs> uh, you know, like putting women down. And I mean, cheating is a source of bitch ass, but. People going to cheat regardless, mm-hmm. but I'm trying not to lie. All that shit, you know what I mean? Cause mm-hmm. being honest, like yeah. coming from an honest place, comes better than just concealing what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Like you can still reconcile something if you're being truthful. Yeah. Sometimes, as opposed uh, to if, if you're just being don't. if you're being honest, they'll love you even more. Mm-hmm. Uh, they'll they'll sweat you so hard if you're honest. <laughs> <laughs> That's a dead ass truth. Like, uh, I don't want no relationships, but we could do this. Man, I appreciate you. And it does, what it does is it lays your cards on the table. Uh-huh, it's like, look, you can take it or leave it. But this is these are your options. This is me. I'm yeah. working on myself. That, that, that's what it is. I you're not. It's like, like there's no in between. I think that's the SEO keyword in a relationship with a woman is I'm working. I know I did this, but I'm working right. on myself. Yeah, right. They, they be fighting for that spot too, man. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> all. <laughs> all right. Question number five. Why did you? Like, what made you want a carpet cleaning franchise and everything? What? <laughs> you had a carpet cleaning company. <laughs> yeah, I do. I still do. So, what, what made you want it? Why? Well, um, I've been cleaning carpet since I was like sixteen. My so dad. you still have a business? Yeah. What's it called? Tell us. Uh, carpet cleaning. Um, what the fuck? Carpet cleaning physician. Who did your photos? They turned out really well. Oh, um, it was my brother's boy. I forgot his name. They did an excellent job. They did a good job. Yeah. 
Yeah, it was his really his first time. That's <laughs> dope. His his first time really doing like a a real photo shoot. So when I when I came down there, he had like a he thought I was gonna sit behind the table. He had all these books on the table. Mm-hmm. I said no, not like this. I said I got this chair. <laughs> I want to lay lay against a wall, and I just want to. You killed it. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Question number six. And why do you call a vagina a box? That's what it's called. That it's a box. Just Even box. before his books, it was like I've never heard that. I've never, never heard, heard it either. I've heard it, but there's whole songs about it's it being called a box. Rap songs about it being called a box. It's called a box. That's your Pittsburgh shit. I'm no, sorry. it's not. Well, it's look, not it's I'm, not from, now. It's I'm from, from Pittsburgh. I've never, never heard, heard you someone call it. calling a vagina a box. Y'all, y'all know who Gorilla Zoe is? Yeah, yeah. I, I met him. him. A concert I met him. him. He, he's Hang the on. one that made that, that term up back in the day. Oh. Well, I I just ignored that fact. It's gross. So you didn't know what a box was in the, in the, in the, in the book? No, I knew what it was. I knew what you were referring to, but I was like, why didn't you just say vagina? Pussy. Because I don't want to use that word so many times. You can't reuse really the same words through the same paragraph. you got to figure out new words. You can't say yeah. vagina, pussy, pussy. It gets, re- it gets, it gets repetitive. Yeah. Then after a while, yeah. I was like, yo, pussy, see this vagina, <laughs> let. Yeah. I get you. I'm a doctor, and I do colonoscopy. <laughs> so what else you got on there, Lindsay? Okay, when is your birthday? Because the only reason why I'm asking is because one point of the book you said that you were a Gemini, but another you said that your birthday was in July. I never said I was a Gemini. <laughs> in your book, you did. I can sit there. Well, I'm not gonna sit there and read the book again. Right. But it said it at the beginning, sort of like the beginning and the middle is not in the middle, but in the beginning ish. It sat there and said that you were a Gemini. You should put page numbers next time you put questions. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll skip that. I won't yes. question. Well, no, what's your birthday? Dang it. 724. Oh. I'm a Leo. You are a Leo. Oh, yeah. yeah, you are. Whenever you said it was in July. You said seven, when, no, whenever oh, the girl. Leo. Sat there and she Keep threw your suffering. birthday party. Gosh darn Not, like, no. She didn't throw your birthday party, but she threw you little surprises or whatever. Damn. Okay, <laughs> number eight. Okay, I think, I believe I remember you having a clothing line in school, but I don't remember if you did sex symbol clothing line in school. No, it wasn't sex symbol. It was, it was called uh, Pretty Boy Wear. But I knew you had a. But that taught you how to work it, probably. So yeah. you were you were ready for sex and all. Oh, uh, yeah, I was ready for so sex. So hoodies and stuff like that. But yeah, it, it was pretty boy where people used to come up to me. If I, but I was like real unique, so I didn't give a fuck what people said about my clothes. So I used to wear a whole bunch of colors, shoestrings, you know, really colorful person. When did you come out with the uh sex emotion? Yeah. Uh when I was making music. I don't know how I came up with sex and it just I just said it one day and then was like, oh sex and And it know, stuck. Mm-hmm. You know, branded yourself before branding was the thing. Before we got to it. I mean, Brandon always was something, but when we got to it, it's like, okay. You know what I mean? So what? Special offers. <laughs> so what moved you to write an audi- uh, autobiography? What made me write it? Mm-hmm. Um, I wanted everybody to get to know the author. Um, cause they've been reading my stories for so long. I mean, I've been writing for ten years, so I, I was like, let me. Get, let them know the author, but at the same time, I didn't want to write the book because I didn't want people to, to look at me different. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I mean, people already see me as like a male whore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, people already know I got I had a lot of women. You know, people 
noticed shit already. So me putting it out there is like open eyes. But the crazy thing, me writing this book, so many women want to fuck me even more. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you've owned it and you <laughs> come to play it. Yeah, I mean, so have you read your book? <laughs> <laughs> and it's so hilarious because I was recently talking, like, it's funny, like, my TikToks, some of my TikToks get a, a decent amount of views. Mm -hmm. And then my comments get more likes than my actual videos. <laughs> <laughs> And it's funny because I was recently talking about it. I was like, guys don't need to go to the gym. They just need to listen a little bit more and figure out, like, like just listen, like comprehend sometimes. And it takes a amount of time. That's what it is. So I was like, why do people like Pete Davidson? And I was like, it's not because he's going to the gym, obviously. Real talk. It's not because he's working <laughs> You know out. he got engaged. He right? got an autoimmune disease. Yeah, he's not he's not out here, you know, lifting weights and stuff. That's not it. He obviously has something. He was honest with people. He, he's got something that other people are missing. They're like, we need to go to the gym. No, no you do not need to no go to the gym. No one cares about that. I mean, that's enough. You know, don't get me wrong. It's nice. You know, thank you, 2468. We appreciate it. <laughs> that's great. But. I mean, the gym. Working out enhances your sex. It does. It does. It True. Does. Like your blood flow, more sex. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> but if you can't communicate, if you don't have an emotional, you don't have an emotional connection, or you don't have a personality, you can't expect the gym to make up for that. Yeah, you know, if, you, right. if you're just a dud. Yeah, yeah, if you could like be buff as hell, it don't make no difference. Like, that's connect, great. Connection is everything. Yeah, yeah like, sex. you gotta have some emotional intelligence. Mm -hmm. But you know what? There's a lot of people that fuck without that shit, too, yo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's people, true. People be fuck with no emotions, and shit, me, I be fucking with no emotions. <laughs> <laughs> and, we those too. Uh, <laughs> no, no, not true, not true. <laughs> Emotional connection <laughs> with his hot sauce, okay? That's fine. Well, I just want to know, was it day. red hot, red devil? Apparently he had a packet in his pocket. Was it like <laughs> that? Oh, what's the one with the seed, that Tabasco sauce that he put in his the seed, the little yellow packet? I mean, I just, first, first of, of all, all, you see that it's, well, someone said the condo might have been red, so you don't know. And well, well and another thing, was it on the outside of the condo? Or was it on the inside? It had to have been on the outside because I doubt he would have put hot sauce on his dick. No. Yeah, you're right. Because if he put it on the inside out. He probably just poured the shit inside the corner. He probably no, did. No, no, not but inside, why? but the outside of I was thinking it. that he poured it inside until you said, ouch. Yeah, why would, I mean. No, that? after he was done, he pulled it out. I feel like inside of it. No, well, because you like, need to put it inside normal, of people to start. You put it on the outside, it don't matter. But if you sit them put on but the outside, you're the meaning woman. to sit That's there the and point. fuck he, you he up. He wanted it to affect the woman. That was the point. But I mean, if he, okay, so you done, right? And you taking your, your, your shit off. off and right. Off. And and what, but I mean, how does that, then how does she, so you say he put because on. Because she took it out of the trash and she tried to put it inside. Oh! Story is so much more great for me right now. You just, oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Either other or what happened in that story? I told you because I was like, what are you missing? She tried to turkey baster him and he got confused. Because I was thinking before, like you said, oh, he what? poured it in the like, car. Like, 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 like,
it is considered trash. So niggas, don't just throw it in the trash. First of all, if you need to put on slash your condom after you did the deed, you don't need to sleep with that person. It's but it's done. done. It's too late. If it's like you might not. He was like, he was like, red fuck this shit. Where's the red hot? No, but it was premeditated on his part because he felt like I'm sleeping with this person. I need to do this. Maybe you don't need to sleep with this person. You feel like you need to do this thing. If you feel like this person is trying to create some entrapment <laughs> that's not illegal, then... And how effective is hot sauce on sperm? I just want to know. Someone in the comments, please say that. I just, I mean, yes, her coochie was probably on fucking fire, <laughs> but <laughs> them swimmers are strong. I just wonder, like, does that really, is it, does it, is it an effective spermicide? Does it stop the swimmers from getting where they need to go? I just wonder. I don't, I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm very curious as to how that works. Because she won't do it again, probably. I bet you she, <laughs> she learned her damn lesson. What's your thoughts on it? Cause right now I, I can just imagine. What, I don't know where the hot sauce was at. He put after uh, allegedly he, he after they the did the deed, he took the condom off, and while he was in the bathroom taking the condom off and put it in the trash, he put the hot sauce inside of the condom, and then oh, she thought didn't thought. she didn't know, and she went into the bathroom and she tried to put the sperm inside of her and didn't know yeah, that there was hot home. sauce inside oh, the condom. Wow. He's good. <laughs> <laughs> she's not good because I'm sure she's not She's not with her. She's probably still burning. She's no. burned for her. No, she's oh. burned for her. And you know, she put that shit in deep as hell because she's a thoughty thought. So she probably It was an Instagram sure. model. She slept with Drake and after deep was done, she tried to put the condom I back got your baby. Oh, what you got is something worse. <laughs> a hospital visit. Yeah, as um, cayenne pepper in the cooch. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's the basis of hot sauce. Cayenne pepper. I'm like, girl, spicy twat. Uh, uh, I don't have Now she's suing him. <laughs> it's not illegal to take someone's sperm, apparently. It's not illegal to take someone's sperm, but if you get burnt in the process. She did, she did it. She did it on as long as her arms does. But I mean, is she suing because she's pregnant, or is she suing? No, because she's suing because her he shit is probably still on fire. <laughs> and he can deny it. He can say that wasn't me. I mean, I had some tacos. That was his plan. I had some tacos, and <laughs> you know, I had to go to the bathroom, and I threw it in the trash, and the hot sauce just wound up in there. That's your problem. You were digging through my personal trash and got got. Sorry, you got taco sauce in your. <laughs> Apparently, like a couple of lawyers was like, the courts have never seen anything. Like that. <laughs> so there's no precedent. <laughs> <over there. laughs> They're probably just looking at it, looking but at it like, to, but it's not illegal to take someone's sperm. I don't see how. I feel like it's. Even, how is it not? Like that's weird. Even though you did agree to sex with a condom on, and they took it off and threw it away. I mean, I don't know, but I'm saying like, what? What? What exactly are you saying? Don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this was a good talk. Like, what else do you want to say? Anything you about your book? <laughs> uh, to buy it. Oh yeah, go buy my book. <laughs> uh, I'll See, you, I'm uh, saying you're amping you up. <laughs> I, I promise you'll love it. You know what I mean? It's real sexual, it's real educational, and all that good stuff. And it's definitely a roller coaster ride. You know? And if you didn't grow up with our brothers, you'll, you know how to uh, teach How many brothers you have? Uh, I got um, Four brothers. Oh, another question. What's the deal? It's not even written down, but I remember the book. How many, um, not, oh wait, I did ask you this, but I'm going to ask you this again because we're on camera, so I'm going to ask you it again. Ask you before the camera. Well, you get to the point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, she's not going to get to the point. <laughs> About the point, about the point, about the point. Okay, I got this. I got I this. Pay attention to the camera. Make sure it's still recording. <laughs> so, like, come on. Okay, I got this. I got this. I got this. Okay. <laughs>
I started her. I pulled the string in the That's all my bad. That's so my bad. All right, I, so, okay, I got the question. I got the question. Okay. Do you still sit there and um help uh uh couples sit there and get oh sorry that's the cat. Do you still sit there and help couples get to that point? Yeah, so like through cut. sex cup counseling. Yeah. 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 Well, when I when I get a client, so I might get like two, three clients a year. That's not a lot, but I would love to have like twenty clients a month. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Do you? Because uh, that helps you get more like ideas for stories, probably, doesn't it? Inspiration or no? No, nah, no, nah, that's just more money. <laughs> like, no shit be like, no, no, they be like two grand, like, oh yeah, fifteen hundred to two grand just to, to watch people fuck and tell them what to do. And you don't get off by watching people fuck. Yeah. There's a reason why I don't get off, but I'm not going to put that in the air because I might mess up my own. Don't mess up! I don't you get off <laughs> if you're the bad ass anyway. I, I, don't, I don't get off at all. Like, at all. I can see why not. We're not yeah. going to talk about that. But okay. okay. All right. Wrap it. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can follow us on Anchor, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube, yes, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> what are so you probably be like around it. here somewhere. Thank you for watching the first episode. Of hey, Sunday. buy the book, man. Look, listen. buy the book. Spend some money, y'all got it. Y'all ain't hey. going nowhere. It's pandemonium. Pandemonium. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you. We love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Please tell me all the bad and the good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top So you better back off and get lost I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down I'll be getting loud, you can have me douse, not what I'm about Have your fucking cloud, it be raining now, I keep making sound Go another round, bitch I'm legend bound, can't stop me now You don't wanna fuck with me a slow burn like a disease Just tell me that I can't show you things that you couldn't believe